What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are going to be making a parking game in, in a really short amount of time. Now first what you're going to need is three sprites. Car, finish, and level. For car, it's going to be just a car that is about 70 by 40. Then if you go up to set costume center, it should be in the center of the car. Level is just going to be a level, obviously, with a spot where you want the player to park. Now, create multiple levels. Now the finish is going to be the same exact thing as the level, except it is going to be a white square where the target place is supposed to be. You are going to name each costume 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, so they all match up. You are now going to make a new variable called level. Global. On the backdrop, go when green flag is clicked, set level to 1. Then for the level, you are going to do when green flag is clicked, go to 0, 0. And then forever switch to costume level. For finish, you are going to do the same thing, except you are going to set ghost effect to 90 when the green flag is clicked. And then you are going to forever repeat 30 change ghost effect by 0.33 and then repeat 30 change ghost effect by negative 0.33 now for the backdrop just design a basic street so as you can see what we now have is a level with a corresponding finish area and the finish area pulsates prompting the player to go to it now for your level you should design a common starting place for all your levels for me it's right here so i just took the player moved him to that spot then I'm going to do one green flag is click, point in direction 90, and we are going to go to that spot. Now we are going to forever. If up arrow key is pressed, move two steps forward. Then what we are going to do is left arrow key press, turn two degrees. Right arrow key press, turn two degrees. Only when the up arrow key is being pressed. That way they can't turn when they're not moving. So now as you can see, we can now drive, but we can't back up. So what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate this, do it down arrow, move negative two steps, and we're just going to switch the left arrow and right arrow so it's inverted and put that here. So as you can see, we now have it being able to move in every direction. Now we are going to do if touching level, which means the cars we don't want it to touch or it loses the level and has to restart. We are going to wait one second and then we are going to reset the level by going to the starting position. Then we are going to do if touching finish and not touching the color of the road. What this means is it can't be like halfway. It has to be fully inside the finish sprite and not touching the road at all. So we can just do that by this script. We are going to do the same thing as the touching level. We're going to reset it, but we are going to change level by one, changing the level. Now, as you can see, our game is now finished. So if we play it, we go, and we try to get in the right parking spot. But yeah, that was how to make a parking simulator game really quick. I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace.